Well, here's a question for you, blade lovers. What do these two knives have in common? This real big one and this itty bitty one, sort of. Well, they're both made by a company known for overbuilt, oversized knives, Max Ace. <laughs> That's the Sandstorm K. Uh, it needs a little more room, so let's accommodate it. Yeah, that's a big one. Well, I don't usually get very many small knives, but this one uh, kind of uh, caught my fancy. So this one is the Mirror Cat. It is from Quality Materials. And uh, it is by Max Ace. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Over a four inch blade here and um, only about a three or slightly over three inch blade there. We'll do some specs on it in a minute. Let's move the big boy out of the way, make room for the little brother. So it's a cool, chunky little knife out of quality materials by Max Ace. It has a titanium body, thick and solid, with a uh, blue anodized backspacer, blue anodized screws, and a pivot surround. T8 on both sides, as far as I know. I don't have my set nearby to check that. And it is an opening hole only. Let me see if I can get that right. There we go. It's a smaller knife, so middle finger flick, you just got to get everything out of the way. Get, get your other fingers out of the way. If you want to, you can roll it out with the thumb like that. And she holds pretty well. I can get three, uh, four fingers on there by using that last little, well, that last little bit of handle there. Okay, but I can get all four fingers on the handle and it's pretty solid in the hand. And I think this should be a great little cutter. We'll start right off with that. Oh, well, am I wrong? I don't brace the paper well enough. It's my problem. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Could be better. Strop might help it. Ain't gonna get into that. Um, paper cutters are not always flesh cutters and flesh cutters are not always paper cutters. And I have a, it's a smooth edge and it is pretty fine. So just with my touch there, I can sort of tell usually. Anyway, strop can help most factory edges. And if you don't like it at all, you can redo that edge. But this one is from S90V. Primo premium stuff, known for its uh, toughness, edge holding ability, and um, its uh, corrosion and stain resistance. We've got a very nice uh, horizontal satin brush there, and we've got a very uh, smooth, even bead blast on the grind. And it is a flat grind. I don't feel a hollow there. Here's the thing. There's your clip. Uh, before I received this knife, and I had already ordered it from White Mountain, I saw Jared Neves' uh, review. And his only qualm was right there. No real ramp on the clip. There just stood this thing straight up. Max Ace claims... It's so that it hangs on a little better for security and so forth. But, you know, if you can't get it in your pocket, what good is that? And I even tried. I said, you know, I should be able to lift that clip up and push it in my pocket. Nope. Couldn't even do that. So Jared is 100% right. But the folks at Max Ace were listening to him and perhaps some others. And almost right away made another clip. Now, his review only goes back maybe about a month, I think. And already they got a new clip for a dollar on their website. So happens I was ordering a few other things directly from Max Ace, and I threw that clip in. 
And I will do a follow up when that new clip comes in so you can see the difference. It definitely is different than this. It has a front and a back ramp, whereas this just basically has a wall in both directions. It just jams up against your pocket coming and going. <laughs> That's the one downside of this knife. I think it would be a useful EDC knife once that clip gets replaced. For a dollar, hard to beat. If you only ordered the clip, it would cost you $15 to get it shipped from China, from Max Ace. That's, when you order from Max Ace's um, website, that's where they come from. Okay, and it takes about three weeks. Overall length of this shorty, is only 6.9 inches and the blade is uh call it 2.9 inches so i was wrong it's not over a three inch blade it's under. and uh even more reason why i normally don't get these but the quality was just so darn good what can i say thicker handle 0.51 for a little knife that's unusual 0.41 on the blade which works out to 3.6 millimeters, so thick blade for its size, thick handle, but not so thick that it doesn't really help. I mean, it does help you hang on to the knife for the size of the knife, I will say that. The finger groove is set back quite a bit, so you know it's nice to add the thumb there and the, there's a nice place for your thumb, although there is no jimping for your thumb, but there's that swale because this is uh, almost, I don't know if you call it a harpoon spear point, something like that. Get whales with it. <laughs> I think it's a spear point because this round, this um, swedge rounds down and the edge rounds up. And it's pretty high grind. Very nicely done. Very precisely done. Uh, almost a custom level build. And very smooth on the drop. You don't have a big heavy blade, so... It really is not going to drop shut per se. There's your detent pump right there. Now I'm over it and that'll close pretty easily. Uh, big old cutouts here for the lock bar. There should be a hardened steel insert in there. Yep, I am seeing it. Looks like it's attached from the inside. While we're looking at that, Yep, there it is, right there, hardened steel insert, and probably an over-travel stop. And I did not weigh it, but you'll see these, uh, you'll see the weight come up earlier when I was doing the other measurements. That's just the way I do it on the screen, but I'm going to measure it now because I don't know what it weighs. 3.87, call it 3.88 ounces, under four ounces. So it's, it's a chunk. You know, it's a chunk. Um, pretty much just fits in your hand, you know. But I think as an EDC, with a good pocket clip, it should work out well. Here's something uh, very interesting. Recently reviewed the Devo Growler 2. Are these a pair or what? Look at that. Virtually identical blade profile. Let's see if we can get them up here. And get them even without colliding them. Look at that. Mama and baby. Or papa and baby. I don't know. Look at that. What they did right on the Growler V2 is all this beautiful jimping, love it, and the go forward choil there. I mean, this is really, really well done. Only gripe about this knife is, boy, does that anodization on the aluminum handle start wearing off it. you just looking at it. It's already coming off of the edges. I haven't even pocketed this yet, I don't think. I mean, it, it starts coming off the edges here. You can see a little bit there. So if you don't like that, I mean, it's going to look kind of beat up after just uh, like a week of carrying it. Beautiful knife. Uh, wish that that finish was a little better than what it is. I don't know if anodized titanium would help. Get more or less the same issue there. Uh, compares. 
Kryptilian. It's Kryptilian's a biggie next to it. And Rat 1, even a bigger biggie. Let me get the pommels all even. You see the progression. Small, medium, and large. So I'm liking a knife. I don't want to say just like Jared. I don't want to copy everything Jared does. But he was 100% right. He's been right in a lot of things. He's um, definitely a wizard with edges. He knows his edges. And um, this is a good one. I could recommend it 85%. Once the clip is on there, 100%. It's a little beauty and um, should be a good addition to your EDC rotation for a small knife. A quality small knife, S90V in titanium on bearings. She's a beaut. Well, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I will be back with you real soon. Hope you enjoyed the meerkat. Take care.